the market, I got a voice message from a pastor from Ireland, complaining why I am telling people to leave their churches, another sister called and said, my church is a good church, I cannot leave because it is a good church, I opened the Bible with the sister and we share the word on the phone, two days later, I was praying and sleep came upon me and I slumber, as soon as I slept my dear I heard the voice of the Lord, he told me, Adeline, I have come to tell you that I am restoring everything from the foundation, when I heard these words I wonder, the Lord repeated and said, I am absolutely restoring everything, my daughter come, I will show you, in the blink of an eye I saw that my spirit was transported to a place, when I look around I saw that I was in a market, with a lot of people that were busy selling and buying many items, I was curious, I asked, Lord, are you gonna restore even the market, the Lord said everything you see here will be restore, I am gonna restore the churches and local assembly where you people go to pray and claim to worship me, brother I did not understand anything, I said, Lord, you are telling me that you will restore the churches and assembly, but you are showing me a market, where people are buying and selling, the Lord said, Adeline, I have opened your eyes to see what I see, for you are now seeing with my eyes, I don't see churches and temples when I look at churches and assembly where you go to pray and worship, I see markets, where people buy and sell, I am seeing markets in places of churches, I have opened your eyes to see the way I see these churches where you go to pray, I am restoring everything, I will build a new church from the scratch, everything will be anew, it will be a gathering of the rapture, the current condition of churches are not different from markets, the church that I am building is the end time church that will prepare my people and help them to rise in the rapture, they will worship me in spirit and truth, the Lord said I will restore and rebuild all meaning that all the churches have been affected and they are approachable, pastor that have not resorted to the occult, thus say the Lord, despite the fact that you belong to me, there is something that is still not right among you, therefore I will build everything anew, men of God the Lord will reveal to you what is wrong, for he see all these churches as market, it is when the Lord reveal to you what is to amend and change, when you have made change that your church will be among the end time churches, that the Lord is raising that will prepare his people, it is this new church that is restored that will be rapture, men of God you must preach holiness of the heart and the body, stop saying the Lord look in the heart, he is not happy with that statement you use to justify your position, your preaching must be recalibrated, my dear brother and sister, the year 2018 and 2019 was God years of confession, many in the body of Christ have missed the season of confession and renunciation, I have posted a video where the Lord said 2021 is the year of prayer, my people must intensify their prayer, those who neglect their prayer life failing to pray I will remove my protection from them, brother I came to understand why people are getting the mark of the beast in many churches of Masonic pastor, it is exactly because they are no longer dedicated to fasting and prayer, in order to be cover they are without protection, as a result they are exposed to the mark of the Antichrist, which is the seal of the Antichrist, my dear you going to withdraw in meditation in order to think and remember what you have done in the past, that you have not confess, people are calling me and confessing their sin, if you know a leader that is authentic you can confess with him, begin to remember, a woman called me and told me, I called my pastor and told him, I want to confess many abortion I had done, including these makeup and worldly adornment, but the pastor disagreed saying beauty product was not a sin, I mention this to tell you sister to start by confessing and abandoning your makeup, I would like to ask you to get a sheet of paper and a pen, sit down and begin to write your sin, women must confess their makeup, the time of repentance has ended, but the grace of God is still there. In the year 2018 and 2019 the Lord instructed me to do series of prayer of renunciation and confession, later I came to understand in the spirit world each year represents a step in a progression of the body of Christ, 2021 was the year of prayer, where the Lord instructed me to tell the church to pray a lot and never neglect prayer, whoever neglect prayer I will remove my protection in his life, time has ended my children that will pray I will speak to them, beloved, 
When I began to do my confession and renunciation I began by renouncing worldly adornment and beauty product, I made a commitment to abandon these things, I confessed sins that I was able to remember, but when I forgot the Lord himself came to remind me and highlighted them to me, the Lord told me, my daughter, I want you to be without reproach, when I look at you, I don't want to see something reproachable in your life, therefore I want you to do confession. I said what does it means, the Lord said, I want you to confess and quote all the evil deeds you did in the past, because I your God does not want to see something reproachable in you, my dear brother and sister, listen to the words of the Lord to me, you will be surprised like me, even today I am still surprised, the Lord is right because whatever he say is right, the Lord said my daughter, you must remember your past action and confess them. Do you remember that you have destroyed a man life back in your country? You have cursed that man and his life is completely destroyed because you cursed him, I said Lord I am not a witch, how can I curse and destroy someone life, immediately the Lord showed me the past, I saw that when I was still a young lady, a man told me, I am applying for a job, please pray for me to be employed, and I will marry you if they give me a job, I told this man, all right let us kneel down and pray together, immediately we knelt down on the tile and pray to God in the name of Jesus Christ to give him the job, even if I did not know how to pray properly we pray with faith, after this prayer, love and courtship began between him and me, I started to cook food at home and sneak them for him, we were in love, every time we cook at home I would spare food for him and bring it to him in secret, few days after this prayer the man got a job, as soon as he was employed, he began to go out and sleep with women, and he pregnanted two of them, however in his heart he was still in love with me, told me he want to marry me, I was so angry that I told him, if I am the one who pray for you to get this job, if I am the one who used to bring you food to eat, you will see bad things that will happen to you, one month later the man was sacked from that job, and the Lord said even today his life is destroyed because of your words. The Lord told me, you should not have said these words, the man never gave up his commitment to marry you, it's you who refused to marry him, this man wanted to honor his pledge to marry you, but out of anger you refuse and travel abroad because your family wanted that marriage, since you are the one who refused to marry him you should have leave him alone, you should not say these words of curse, it was thanks to your prayer that he was employed, thus you had power, and your words of curse had power over him. The Lord said, My daughter, you will call this man and ask him for forgiveness, because of you his life was destroyed, I said Lord but this man did me wrong by pregnanting two women, the Lord said, No my daughter, this man never said he will not marry you, despite the fact that he slept with other women he still wanted to marry you, had he broken his pledge I would have rendered you justice, my dear brother and sister this incident happened in 2007. Yet I was doing this confession in 2020, the Lord Jesus said, My daughter, you will call him, confess and ask him for forgiveness, then you will pray for him to get a job, in the meantime you will send him some money while he is looking for work, the Lord Jesus said to me, My daughter, do you know that this man was supposed to die three years ago, his family have resolved to destroy him in witchcraft three years ago but I fought for him to keep him alive so that you will be able to ask him for forgiveness, I did not want him to die before forgiving you the ill you caused him, he is an unbeliever but I fought for him, I did not permit his death, beloved, this is incredible, they are people that God is keeping alive so that you can make peace and forgive one another, there are people you are supposed to ask for forgiveness bear in mind that I was lagging behind in terms of confession and renunciation that the church was to do in 2018 and 2019, beloved if you have missed these two years of confession of sin and renunciation, and if you have not yet received the mark of the antichrist, you can still do confession though you will be late like me, when I woke up from this dream I was alarmed, I came to understand that the purpose of these repentance was the preparation for the sealing of the elect by the Lord in order to protect them from the mark of the beast, false prophet are leaving their body during the service, in order to stamp the number of the beast on the forehead of many believers, my dear do not wait to do confession and renunciation prayer for you are late, you must immediately begin confession and renunciation prayer rally and campaign, times is evil.
and dangerous, confess your old sins, call people that you have offended, and ask them for forgiveness, seek peace and reconciliation now with people that are in conflict with you, it will not cost you anything, this is in order to arrange your relationship with God, time has ended, beloved in order to do confession that the Lord want, I had to deal with my pride and remove it, I needed to humble myself in order to ask people for forgiveness, I remember that I began to dream this man I told you about back in 2018, in that first dream I saw that I was eating and talking with my husband in the house, and this man was standing outside watching us through the window, with sadness and hand on the cheek, when I went out he was not there for he was gone, I thought he was a witch, the other day I saw in the dream that I went to visit him, and he was telling me you are already married, therefore release me, please release me, I was stunned and in wonder, how could I free someone that I have not bound, I said what is this, the Lord wanted me to see these dreams in anticipation for the third dream in which he required me to call him and obtain his forgiveness, beloved if you keep dreaming some of your past friends or relation, ask the Lord to remind you what happened and what you said or did to them, in case you have wronged them, you must call and arrange with them, there are confession that require you to make peace and obtain forgiveness of sin from the person you have offended, there are confession that is between you and God, they are confession that require you to meet or call the person you wronged, I remember I told God that man did not marry me and he was not officially my fiancé, moreover we were living in impurity, the Lord said Adeline even if you were living in sin, you did not know who you were, even in your sinful life if you spoke negative words it will come to pass, if you pray it will come to pass even if you were in sin, you did not know your identity, I want you to be blameless and without reproach, beloved the Lord is raising a blameless church, without reproach, I assure you, if you promise a girl marriage and you have failed to keep your pledge you must confess, few weeks after this confession, the Lord came to talk to me again, actually I had a dream in which I saw a friend of mine, however, I noticed that she was angry against me and refused to talk to me, I did not know what was wrong, when I woke up, the Lord spoke to me and told me, my daughter, I told you that you must be without reproach, I said yes Lord, he said that's why I came so that you can confess another sin that you committed against your friend that you just saw in the dream, who refused to talk to you, I said Lord, again, what is the sin I have committed? The Lord said, Do you know that you have ruined the life of that friend of yours that has refused to talk to you? I asked the Lord really, I loved my friend how could I hurt her, my dear's brother and sister, I cannot say the name of my friend, I will call her mommy, the Lord told me, my daughter, it is because of you that your friend mommy had entered in a relationship that is destroy her life and marriage, I said Lord, I remember that I introduced mommy to my friend Sylvia. The Lord said when mommy your friend began to hang around Sylvia, she did not know that Sylvia had a friend that was a witch, and mommy began to hang with Sylvia friend that was a witch and they became really close, as they got close Sylvia friend the witch resolved to destroy and stifle mommy prayer life, after destroying mommy prayer life, the witch began to fight mommy marriage and business, as a result mommy began to quarrel with her husband every single day yet they used to live in peace prior to meeting Sylvia and his friend the witch, over time mommy marriage was destroyed by Sylvia friend the witch, the Lord said when she destroyed that marriage, the witch got even closer to mommy, and the witch got mommy in distraction and diversion, and went on to destroy her business, and today your friend life is in tatter, stagnation and nothing is working, the Lord said to me, when I see all this wrecking, distraction and ruin in mommy life, I see you my daughter, because you are the one who introduced mommy to Sylvia, where she met the witch, I said what have I done Lord, the Lord said to me, at this precise moment as I am talking to you, Sylvia friend the witch want to destroy mommy children, all this because of you, who introduced mommy to Sylvia, had your friend mommy not met Sylvia her marriage and business will not have been destroyed and dismantled, and her life would have been different since I want your life to be without reproach and unblemished, you will confess and pray to repair your friend mommy life and marriage, I want mommy life to return to normality, his marriage, business and children must be restored, beloved I felt pain to hear all this, I said Lord, what am I supposed to do? 
The Lord said tell your husband to unite with you in prayer of intercession for your friend mommy, you must pray for her children and pray for her relationship with Sylvia friend the witch to end, when you pray I will preserve mommy children and I will end this relationship, the Lord said I want you to ask for forgiveness and confess, I want you to be smart, I want my children to be smart and prudent, before introducing your friend or family to other people, you must pray beforehand. The Lord said when you want to get two people to meet, you will pray and tell me, Lord let this meeting and relationship bring blessing for both of them, let each one of them bring blessing in the life of one another, and you must say I cancel everything bad that may happen in this new relationship, Jesus said, Adeline, if you had made this prayer I tell you Sylvia friend the witch would have never get close to your friend mommy, since you did not do this prayer this has happened. The Lord said my daughter what I am telling you is also apply in marriage, when a pastor unite a good person and a bad person in marriage, I put the responsibility on his head. My dear we must check whether we united good people with the wicked and confess.